Take that. Oh. Huh? Oh, sorry. Couldn't couldn't hear you. You can helicopter it. Just watch your head and your face. Hey everybody, Dylan here from the Tech Dork Times, and today I'm showcasing a headset that I've been using for a really long time. It's super budget friendly, and I think it's great for all kinds of gamers, so I wanted to share it with you. But if we're just meeting for the first time, my name's Dylan, and I want to welcome you to the Tech Dork Times, a place for dorks from all walks of life to celebrate gaming, tech, and all things awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get into this review. <laughs> Okay, here are the headphones in question here. They're Be Excellent. I bought them on Amazon. That's the brand. Be Excellent, all one word. Get that for ya backwards, or is that the right way? Who knows? First things first, the reason I got these in the first place was I actually own two pairs of Turtle Beach headphones. One are the 600 and the other are the 700, so one is wired and one is wireless, but they're both of the higher tier Turtle Beach headsets not to brag or anything. But a year ago, I realized that I had left the charging cables at my parents' place, which is about an hour away from where I live, and so I wasn't able to use those headsets. So I needed something in a pinch, something that wasn't gonna break the bank, and hopefully would just service me for like a week, and then I could go back to my Turtle Beach when I had time to go home and get the wires. Wires. So, enter Amazon. I looked up some gaming headsets, and this one just had good reviews, so I figured I'll take a shot on it. I think it was like $27.99 when I bought these, so that was also pretty appealing. Flash forward, I bought this set of headphones and I was using it that whole week that I didn't have the charging cables and I kind of fell in love with these. To be clear, these are $27.99 headphones, so it's not like they can compete with $200 headphones, but considering the price point, these are just an incredible value. The main reason I'm bringing this headset up and doing a video on them at all is just for anyone maybe in a similar boat, just needing something to last them for a little bit, or just you have a smaller budget and you're looking for something that's worth every dollar that you spend, or you're just getting started with headphones and you wanna start with something basic to see if you like it. The first thing I love about these headphones is they are crazy comfortable. I have glasses, obviously, I don't know if you noticed, but these headphones don't make my glasses dig into my head, they sit very comfortably. I wear them for really long gaming sessions, especially recently playing Marvel's Avengers so much. If you haven't checked out all the videos on that game, definitely check the playlist out right there. Yeah, I don't even notice when they're on, and to me, comfort is the biggest thing with headphones. I mean, sound quality is definitely important too, but to me, it's comfort above anything, because there's a lot of headphones that just, they don't sit right, and they really dig into your head. And I have a huge head, so that uh, should be encouraging for all you big-headed dorks. <laughs> that sounded rude. I didn't mean that to be rude. That, that's kind of funny. I made myself laugh. That's good. And then, moving on to sound quality, which I think is the second most important thing you should be looking for in a headset. It is really, really solid. Like I said, it's not a $200 headset sound quality, but it is totally serviceable. You can hear everything. If you're playing uh, Battle Royales, which I don't play a ton of, but when I did, the sound works perfectly in these to listen 3D and like figure out where enemy footsteps are coming from. No issues whatsoever with the sound quality. A plus is what I'm trying to say. Beyond that, you do have a mic, which is pretty key. Um, it's flexible, which is nice. So, you know, let's do a little live demo. You can drop it there. You can flip it back up if you don't want it. There's also this little switch right here and volume control here. And that's just nice and accessible. I think most headsets have that. But you can turn the mic off, which is super awesome if you don't want everyone and all your friends to hear you screaming and crying when you lose at the game. It doesn't happen to me, obviously. And then also, I don't know if you can see in the camera here, but this is like a fabric, almost carbon fiber cable rather than plastic. So it's very, very durable. And I've had zero issues with any sort of fraying or breaking or anything like that. And a final little fun feature is, where do I have something that I can plug this into? Maybe here? Did it work? Boom, lights, camera, action, baby. You're like a professional Twitch streamer with these on. I don't use this ever, but it's cool, I guess. That's all the features of this thing. It's, they're pretty standard, they get the job done, sound quality's great, super, super comfortable. Beyond any of the features, the big thing I just wanted to mention is that, like I said, I only spent $27.99 on these, and I've had them for about a year, and you can see like the, the actual earmuff pieces are like a fake leather of some kind and uh, they haven't peeled, they haven't worn at all. They're in incredible condition considering that I've had them for as long as I have. And I don't just leave them here or take pristine care of them or anything. I put them in my backpack with other things. I, you know, leave them here. Sometimes I leave them on the ground. 
You probably shouldn't, but I do, and it's fine. The point is, they are very, very durable, considering that this is not real leather. Obviously, the big hurdle here is that they are whoa, wired. Some people hate that, but honestly, and again, you don't have to get these. I'm just saying if you're looking for something that is uh, budget-friendly and you just happen to be in the market for a headset, if you plug this in like this and throw your headphones on, it might as well be wireless because your, your controller is wireless, so as you're playing, look, I can do this. <laughs> oh man, you just saw my camo shorts, that's embarrassing. And I think I just spat on my controller. Don't spit on your controller, guys. The point is, the wireless thing really doesn't bother me. I don't know if I'm just a dinosaur or what, but I don't see that as an issue. But it is important to just note that this is a wired headset, which is one of the reasons it's as cheap as it is. Like I said, I have two pairs of Turtle Beach and I do not use them anymore. I use these instead. They are that good. I think for a casual gamer, they're all you actually need. There's no sense spending more money. But if you are interested in spending more money, then by all means do it. There's some great expensive headsets. But if you're just trying to get into the market and not bother people when you're playing games late at night, just do these. In my humble dork opinion, there's not a better headset on the market that'll give you a better bang for your buck than these Be Excellent Gaming headphones. But yeah, if you're interested in these headphones, I will leave a link in the description. It'll be an Amazon affiliate link, so take a look at that in the description. I do get a small commission on those links, but it just helps run the channel, and you are under no obligation to use it if you don't want to, but it is there if you'd like to. That's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it was helpful, and if you're in the market for a cheap headset, I hope you try these out, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, let me know what headphones you're using and which you think are the best. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, stay dorky.